Alright, what's up everybody? Afflicted Gamer here, and welcome back to Vigor. So, I have the answer to a big question that a lot of you in the community have been asking, and that is, how do I get older weapon blueprints from previous seasons? Well, thanks to our amazing community manager, Pirate, she hosted a dev stream today over on Twitch, today being March the 10th, and she gave us that answer. So, you will have to wait a minimum of two seasons before older weapon plans get added into the game. To explain further, let's say a weapon was added in Season 6 and you missed out on getting that weapon. You will have to wait at least until Season 8 rolls around for it to become available in-game and then of course earnable via your crates. Now I know that might not be the answer you want to hear. Please don't shoot the messenger, but let me elaborate a little bit more. The weapons that get added to the battle passes are supposed to be exclusive to that pass and they still do need to feel special just like the cosmetic items do. So that players don't just well simply buy them from the shop whenever they want or for the people that do grind out those passes they don't feel uh, kind of cheated in a way I don't know for lack of a better word or not really cheated but you know it doesn't feel exclusive anymore if you could just turn around and buy it versus earning it. So I think that this is a fair way to, you know, make everybody happy. Vigor has expanded to two more platforms. Initially it was just an Xbox One exclusive, then it went to Nintendo Switch and now PlayStation. So PlayStation and Switch, they're missing out on, you know, a lot of the items from previous seasons. Mostly cosmetics because I would say a good fair amount of those weapons are already available. But for Items like, for example, again, the Bugle, they will be put into the game, but you might have to wait a little bit more before you get them. Now, she did say that depending on the rarity type of the weapon, that can affect how soon it will become available. So, sp special issue items, purple items, they will, you know, you'll have to wait for them. Two to three seasons for sure. But if it's a common weapon, you know, a green weapon, blue weapon, the wait will probably be a lot less. So, but there you have it. Now, one other question that I know a lot of you have been asking as well uh, is, will we ever get grenades or throwables added into the game? And she said that they are actually looking into that, and they're looking into a way to balance it. So, if they were added, they would be quite expensive. Most likely, they will be in line with the mortars, maybe, you know, purple issue, uh were around same cost as uh, say the armor plates and whatnot but most likely they will be special issue and kind of expensive they will also have to try to find a way to limit how many we can bring into encounters and the reason for that is and i quote they want to prevent grenade spam in encounters which to me makes sense so most likely maybe we'll be able to bring in three four something like that if they do get put into the game but they are looking into it and it does sound kind of promising that we will eventually get grenades and throwables molotovs etc into vigor here so but yeah there's the answer to your question you know a lot of you have been wondering where's the bugle plan a lot of you want it and I get it the weapon is awesome the bugle came out in season 4 for those of you that didn't know that and we are now in season 7 so if you don't get it this season most likely by next season it should be available to everybody to earn again through the crates and who knows maybe even in the store but there you have it that's the answer to your question if you have any more feel free to leave them in the comments section and if i can answer them i will other than that drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful consider subscribing for more vigor content and don't forget that you can always follow me over on twitter at afflicted gamer thank you for watching i'll see you guys very soon in the next video or maybe even out here in the Outlands.